Hi guys, Danny from The Gamers Hub here to bring you another weekly roundup. So I'm going to start off with our review of State of Decay, written by Garrett. He gave the game 4 out of 5, stating whilst the game isn't perfect due to some gameplay mechanics having slight hiccups every so often, you can't help but emotionally get involved with the game. Garrett also mentions that things can still change in the game even when you're not playing it. He returns to it at one point to find that one person from his group was infected and he had to lead them out and kill them. This is a must play game for any zombie survival lover, so be sure to check it out. Next in reviews is NCAA 14 by Garrett again. He gave this game a 4.5 stars out of 5, pretty damn high. Uh, me personally, not really into the game, it's American college football, American football itself I don't really understand at all. Uh, EA releases this title every year around the same time. Um, there is a launch trailer which you can check out on the site, but he goes on to say that this is worthy of purchase for anyone who loves American football because you can just improve on so many different elements on the game and you can change the perks of your coach and such. So it's definitely worth a look into if that's your sort of thing, but it's not mine. Over from reviews, we go on to previews. We start off with Killzone Shadowfall for the next-gen console of the PlayStation 4. Vaughn managed to play through part of the demo, where it seems he's taken a real liking to Gorilla's next-gen title. Touchpad gestures with the controller add a new element to the game, and it's easy to get your head around. He finally thinks this could be a game-changer, which Sony has been betting on for a while, but Gorilla have never quite succeeded with their Killzone titles. So, refreshing, and hopefully it's only a taste of what to expect on the PlayStation 4. With Vaughn saying he wants to be knee-deep in whatever Sony is shoveling. Next is Worms Clan Wars, which Jordan got his hands on as a preview. Almost everyone has heard of the Worms franchise since the beginning in 1995, and with this latest edition, it looks to be a great title. In this game there are added features such as physics based traps which seem to work seamlessly with the game so far. And each individual worm on your team has their own unique ability to help you through the level. Of course I mean Clan Wars gave away the main aim of the game, which is basically making your own clan uh, to fight other clans online, work your way up a leaderboard. So this is what Jordan thinks is thought to be a well-refined and thought-out title. The right price could increase its longevity with the Worms fans. You can find links to the articles I've mentioned in the description if you fancy an in-depth read on each one. But for now that's it from me. Feel free to comment below and maybe the games you're looking forward to or maybe the ones that you're slightly disappointed in. And I'll see you next week.